All right. <clears throat> so um, this is this is very exciting, to be honest. Um, so you don't see a lot of people talking about Grand Blue Fantasy versus, right? And it's just it's so strange though because it actually did get quite a lot of support, like uh, like a heck of a, a heck of a lot of support for the game. Multiple characters were released uh, post launch. Has been a little bit on the expensive side, you know. It's very rare that it shows up on a Steam sale, um, but it's an extremely solid, well-rounded fighting game uh, based on the Grand Blue Fantasy or Grand Blue Universe, um, which is a great, uh, so far great anime that I I haven't loaded up for a while. I started watching it with my my daughter, and it is really good, really really good, very wholesome. Anyway. So, uh, and we know that there's a new uh, MMO or online game coming out as well, which is which looks pretty amazing too. And so I saw this, and I'm like, is this is this a new game or is this like an upgrade? Uh, and it turns out from everything that I've sourced, and I wanted to show that to you here. Uh, if you go on Twitter and type in this search result here, so you guys can do it yourself, um, that it will indeed be an upgrade. Right, we're getting new characters, new stages, uh, rollback net code, uh, updated visuals, um, and as you can see on the screen, uh, a battle royale. Right, so which is which is it's crazy, right? Like who would have thought of of all the all the sort of you know games especially out there to do something like this it would be this and this is pretty cool now i think i could be wrong could be wrong right but i have a feeling like this is also something you do like um in between like lobby fights so uh roof among us says here uh also declares war on all other fighting game lobbies as they apparently adding a fall guy style mode to the lobbies with multiple multiplayer mini games, right? Which is pretty cool. Um, and you've got the Grand Bruise Legends, the Battle Royale mode. So maybe it is. So maybe they are the two two separate ones. You've got uh, your lobby fighting to to you know while you wait, which is really cool, right? Because we have seen the introduction over the last few years of fighting games making sure that we've got something to do while we're waiting we just don't want to sit there twiddle our thumbs let's get in let's warm up let's practice our combos special moves um but then this is also a nice take as well and i'm wondering if that'll actually give you a choice do you want to go into a training mode or do you want to just jump into a lobby and beat the absolute hell out of each other right so grand blue fantasy versus rising thank you japan just keep adding names <laughs> Right, coming to PS5, PS4, and Steam this year. No release date yet, which is, yeah, which is crazy. Now, uh, also, Fighting Game Anniversaries has posted this one, which is uh, gameplay footage of one of the Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising's new system mechanics, Ultimate Skills. All right. So, I, I really do like, I really do like this idea of, going back to a fighting game and basically giving it a revision we've seen it with guilty gear right uh and like we've seen it a bit when it comes to um tekken 7 tekken 7 did it a little bit as well by adding in uh i think essentially like a super move um and they would m make some like gameplay change mechanics i think they also did with soul Calibur 6 i'll tell you what though and I i'll keep mentioning this Soul Calibur 6 is, is a hell of an underrated fighting game. They really need to just, they need to do this. They need to do this for Soul Calibur 6. Announce a new season pass, uh, announce like some additions, you know, quality of life upgrades, anything like that. Um, because right now, Soul Calibur 6 is, is kind of dead in the water and it's a real shame because it's a fantastic fighting game. Like it's, it's so good. It's such a good fighting game, and it's such a shame that it's just sitting on the sidelines, uh, not getting any love. So, uh, fighting games daily. Uh, am I following it? Yeah, I must be following this. Too. Yep. 
Uh, so obviously, crossplay, rollback, netcode, great. Uh, enhanced graphics, yep. Uh, new story content as well. Right, so if you like the story, if you've watched the anime, played the game, played the story in the game, then yes, new story. Now, for those that don't know, there is a, an actual RPG side of the game itself, which you can, you know, divulge a heck of a lot of time in, which is pretty cool, right? Um, but uh, can we make this? Let's see if I can. Can I? Can I? Uh, can I adjust this? Perhaps, maybe. If I can, let me just uh, let me just change the. I'll change the filter. Uh, if if I can, to we'll go that one. Can we go that one? Maybe is, is that one? Is that one going to be better or worse? It might be worse. <laughs> We're doing this all on the fly, baby. Oh, here we go. We can go. Yeah, here we go. All right, so you've got from uh, left to right changing, right? Uh, and then you got actual in-game characters as well that have been changed. In-game shaders and post-processing post effects uh, have been enhanced to replicate the iconic art style of Grand Blue Fantasy. Now, I I can see the differences. I, I to be honest, I, I kind of like both. Like, I'm not... I'm not saying, oh yeah, absolutely, like dead set. Let's go with this one and not that one. Like I'm, I'm pretty much on board with, with you know, both versions. I think they look fantastic, right? Um, and of course, you've been seeing uh, the, you know, playing in the corner and whatnot. The this is the reveal trailer, uh, which showcases a lot of gameplay. Doesn't seem to showcase any new characters unless they were in there so far. So just missed it. Plus that big dragon thing as a character, um, but that's great. And the, and there are so many, there are so many characters in the fighting game. But when you watch the anime, there are a lot of characters missing. A lot of characters that you're sitting there going, "That's a really weird omission. Like, why would you? Why would you not have that in your fighting game? You know, considering it's, and you know, not to sort of spoil anything. They're kind of you know, the kind of main characters, right? So I think this is going to be <clears throat> uh, a pretty big year for Grand Blue, right? Which is going to be really good. Uh, I think Grand Blue is 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 going to make a name for itself um, this year, both with its online game uh, relink and, of course, their fighting game update, which is great. So it keeps it keeps that game fresh in the minds you know it's like hey we're still here but it's like dnf duel dnf duel can be a very frustrating fighting game but um it is a great fighting game it is a lot of fun um obviously like all fighting games they do have issues but i like it like you know i only just muck around casually though so i'm not sort of you know trying to like win tournaments or whatever but it is really good um they did announce not too long ago there's a new character coming so i think that's the that's unfortunately the thing with modern fighting games is that you bring out a game and then, you know, everyone has a nice big month or so playthrough of all the characters, finds their mains, secondaries, and then they go, well, well, who's coming? Who's next? Right? So two things I always love in fighting games, more characters and more stages, right? So the fact that they already had a wonderful foundation here with uh, GBV, they, uh, G, Grand Blue, GBFB, GBFV, sorry. Um, they've got a great foundation. Build on that. Get people excited. And then you'll then they'll have, you know, if people wanted to get into sort of like the online game as well, uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Link. Or Relink. Is it is it Relink? Um, Relink. I'm just having a look on the Google. Um uh action role play game it is online isn't it it, it, it is uh, it is or is it just single player maybe it is a single player um it's going to be on ps4 ps5 and of course on pc um which will no doubt be um da -da -da -da. is it online i can't think it's online because i see I see people, right, uh, who like 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 MMO channels covering this game, 
right? Uh, and I'm thinking, okay, all right, so maybe it's online. Maybe it isn't online. Maybe it isn't online. I don't know. I'm not sure now. I'm, try I'm just, I'm just trying to have a look while you guys look at this, this trailer. Um, so I don't know. Don't know. Anyway, but it looks good too. It looks good. Actually, there is a mention of free to play. So maybe it is. Usually you don't make a game like that free to play unless it is an MMO in this day and age. Because you want to try and get as many people through the door. But anyway, so that's um that's my coverage. That's my opinions. That's my soiree of uh Grand Blue Fantasy versus Rising. <laughs> it looks good, man. It looks really good. I am very excited for this. It's um I I always I always look out for those underdog fighters. I always, I always want to look out for those underdog fighters or the ones that aren't too big, but they have a nice tit, a t tight knit, not tit, right? Tight knit gaming community, uh, and it's really good to see that they're not just abandoning in the first, that like abandoning their first game and making a sequel. They're going, no, we've already got the work there. Let's add to it, right? Now, the the last thing I have to mention just quickly is that. How much of this is going to be a free update and how much is it is going to be paid right because there are there are a there are like you know like with Tekken 7 you might get like balance updates and new abilities added but if you want these new characters you've got to pay for it so so far with um gbf uh grand blue gbf gbf v or gbv whatever Whatever, right? Uh, you did have to pay for DLC characters. So I'm assuming it's going to be the same. I'm assuming it'll be the same. Um, but some of the, like, like things like maybe like the Battle Royale mode, Lobby mode, obviously cross-play, things like that. Like, a majority of that will probably be free. Um, but to get the new characters, uh, you'll pay extra. And, and hopefully the stages will just be added in too. I don't really like stages being kept behind a money wall like a paywall so anyway i'll leave it there let me know what you guys think and catch you next time